once again to Reasonable Discussions with Russell Moth Eaton. I am your host, the aforementioned Russell Moth Eaton, and with me today is Mr. Wilbur Lefty Talcum. I am told that he should be well known to Cooler County sports fans. In his career as an active baseball player, Mr. Talcum spent 12 years in the dugout of the Piddling Coyotes as their third string catcher and fourth string utility infielder, and more recently has spent the last 20 years as the manager of the Mottville Yodlers. Uh, welcome to the show, Mr. Talcum. Yeah, just call me Lefty, Mr. Moth Eaton. Everyone does. Am I safe in assuming that you acquired that nickname because you're left-handed? No, 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 I'm right-handed. Oh, well, then how is it that you are referred to as Lefty? Well, that's a very interesting story. Uh, I was given the nickname Lefty because of my habit of uh, taking too long to change out of my uniform and into my street clothes after a game. You see, by the time I would leave the locker room to get on the team bus, well, the bus was already gone and I'd be left behind. And thus the nickname Lefty. At first they called me Left Behind, but then it just got shortened to Lefty. <laughs> Ain't that an interesting story? No, not particularly. Uh, but let us now transition from your past career and discuss a very intriguing situation that has recently occurred in your present one as manager. The Mottville Yodlers have suffered through a good number of unsuccessful seasons. Well, yes, I guess that's true. If you consider an average 80% losing percentage is unsuccessful. But the Odlers have recently enjoyed one of their most productive weeks in a good many years. That's brought some hope to local sports fans. Uh, what would you give as the reason for this recent success? Well, I think it's the fact that three of the four games we were scheduled to play last week were called because of rain. Our only loss was against the Runyon Sea Turtles. It was a 21 to nothing debacle, but, but that one loss represents the fewest losses we've suffered in a single week in over seven years, so uh, we're pretty happy about that. Well, I am certain that when a team is struggling, as the Mottville Yodlers have been for so long, that a manager is challenged to attempt some creative ways to put some numbers in the win column. Yes, that's true. Well, perhaps you could tell our listeners about some of these attempts. Well, there was this one here time we tried to field ten players instead of the traditional nine. Oh, that had to be rather difficult to pull off. Well, we tried that when Coy Spaddling was umpiring a game. You see, Coy is very nearsighted. He can see things close up, but has trouble with things that are far away, so we figured with him standing behind home plate, he wouldn't notice the extra man on the field. But I take it that ploy was unsuccessful. Well, it started out pretty good, but of course the opposing team couldn't help but notice that we had an extra man on the field, and, and they didn't hesitate to point that out to Coy Spaddling. It's just too bad for you that the opposing team wasn't nearsighted as well. I don't think it would have mattered. Even the fans noticed our creative move and started yelling and screaming about it. I understand you have just orchestrated a major trade to help you with your upcoming three-game series against the Detroit Pigeons. That's right. We just traded star pitcher Westy Milborn to the Dallas Mice for a washed-up outfielder named Burley Muston and two minor league players to be named later. And I see from my notes that Westy Millbrook is having an incredible year. He has registered the most strikeouts and the lowest ERA of any pitcher in the league at present. Well, how is your trading of him beneficial to your team? Oh, trust me, it is. Oh, wait a moment here. My notes also indicate that Westy Millbrook doesn't even play for your team. Oh, he is on the roster of the Detroit Pigeons. That's right. We figured it would improve our chances of winning if we didn't have to face him while the Pigeons are in town. But you orchestrated a trade between two other teams. Well, certainly league rules don't allow you to trade a player from one of your opponents to another. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. But we're hoping no one would notice until next Monday when our series against the Pigeons is over. But the commissioner saw what we were up to, and he intervened. And what sort of penalty did he impose upon you? Well, we were forced to forfeit all three games. Plus, we have to pay a hefty fine. 
Uh, on the plus side, though, we accomplished our goal. We don't have to face Westy Milbourne this next weekend. Well, considering your record, I suppose you can consider that a moral victory of sorts. Yeah, we'll take any sort of victory we can. Well, you've certainly given us some good insight into the game and to what depths a manager will sink to secure a victory. And that, gratefully, brings us to an end of another program. I would like to thank my guest, Mr. Wilbur Lefty Talcum, for being with me today. I would like to, but I fear that I can't bring myself to. And at any rate, this is Russell Moth Eaton inviting you to join me again tomorrow for another reasonable discussion.